Hello, I'm back. So I finally found my blue um, paint. And uh, yeah, this is my, <laughs> this is my uh, paintbrush. I gotta be really careful because I'm using the bottom part of a cup um, as my uh, means of getting the paint at my fingertips. So. So how I'm doing this video is essentially I'm going to be painting this. And I'm painting the, I'm going over the marker, but I'm going to be painting the inside of the shrine. Let that dry for several hours and then I will be painting the um, the back of it with that dry and then I'll paint the um, the sides That way, I get a nice final product. So all of these shrines are going to take probably about um, a week to send off because I am including the free candle um, with every order and that takes about a week to cure. So the shrine can be done in you know a couple of you know about a day depending on what time I have to be at like if I have to work that day um, now if I have to work that day, it'll take probably about two days for the shrine to be finished. But then I gotta make the candle, which is where the week comes at. So, um, a couple of years ago, there was a YouTuber called the Priestess of Athena. Oh, this paint smells. Um, and she had, like, some really great videos that she posted. Now she doesn't post anymore. I have no idea if she's alive or dead. And I think it's like, you really get attached to a YouTuber and, you're, and they've kind of vanished off the face of the planet and you're kind of like, oh, where did they go? And she has, like, medical problems that she talked about on her channel. And with COVID, you don't know if those medical conditions brought...
COVID to roost. I made a joke last night at work. I'm like, yeah, how would he react if he was told he had to be vaccinated? <laughs> we got this guy that does not believe that COVID is real. And my general manager, assistant general manager, was like, yeah, uh, he'd probably leave. <laughs> You probably get mad. I'm like, wow. But he's kind of like this guy that's like, oh, I've had a friend. She's had COVID five times, but I don't believe it's real. And I'm thinking, that makes no lick of sense. That's just me. I would like people to not do those double-sided statements. Well, I've had a friend that's had it five times, but I don't believe it's real. Or it's like saying, oh, I've had a friend who's had the bubonic plague five times, but I don't believe it's real. And it's, it's annoying. But, you know... It is what it is. You know. And I was just like, yeah, it's just gonna be a practical joke. I'm like, yeah, guess what? We got this uh, paper called the Patty Press. And they're saying that, you know, employees have to be vaccinated for COVID. And um, it's kind of hilarious that you got all these unvaccinated people. And I'm not, I'm not saying they're unvaccinated because, oh, they don't believe COVID is real. But it's kind of funny because you turn around and go, hey, guess what you have to be? You have to be vaccinated. So, just to see his reaction. Because he's like, she's a bully. And I'm like... He gets her so, he gets her so mad. It has nothing to do with COVID. It has everything in fact is that he just does stuff that ticks her off. So, I was just saying, hey, you know, since he, t since he ticks you off, why don't you do something to tick him off? And tell him he has to be vaccinated. That would be funny to watch. But I had a friend yesterday, she got back from quarantine, she came back on Sunday, and she wanted to know if she was going to be paid for COVID, and I told her, no, you're not being paid for COVID, and she was like, what do you mean we're not getting paid for COVID? 
I said, well, you're not getting paid for COVID. FedEx pays for COVID. If you get COVID, you get paid. And that's the difference, I think, between like where I work at and FedEx. Because FedEx understands that without the drivers, they wouldn't have a business. And it's kind of a way of them saying, hey, yeah, you matter. Or something to that effect. But it just shows that we don't matter to the company. And I know, it's, I know, it's 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 like it's really weird. I was like, I'm so glad that we paid our rent because we would have literally been up shit's creek. guy, I'm not going to mention his name because I don't mention people's names on camera. Um, he's an anti-vaxxer around people that have had COVID, which is, I think, funny because nobody wants to hear him. <laughs> wants to hear anything he has to say. I mean, he doesn't push his, I mean, I wouldn't say he pushes his viewpoints on people, but he makes it very clear that he doesn't believe it's real. And everybody that he is work, who's working around has had COVID. And my brother's like, I don't want to hear his anti-vax. I know. <laughs> so. But, yeah. It's kind of... It's kind of annoying. He also doesn't like having to wear a mask at all. But he knows that if he wants to keep his job, that he has to do it. So, all right, so um, I'm gonna do a third video. Um, and um, yeah, so this is what it looks like so far. Really nice. See you guys in bed.